Seven, hello, okay, yes, it's a very special one. Get straight into it. It's the new uh, Fruit Skittles Giant's Gooey. I don't know how you went to uh, it's a bit of a mouthful, doesn't it? Well, there we go, man, that's the idea. But uh, anyway, it looks like Skittles Giants, but with a gooey sense. Look at that. I mean, I'm very excited for these ones. Very excited indeed. So, yeah, thanks so much to Scotty for putting me onto these ones. I got them in uh, Aldi, basically. I don't know if they're available anywhere else. It's very subtly uh, placed in Aldi. You have to sort of search them out for sure. Always the case, though, actually, to us when we go over there. Any new products, they were just like. Um, I don't know, inside, inside, inside like one of these you know, mesh basket type affairs. Uh, just not really placed anywhere interesting, you know, but they were just, you know, couldn't really see them unless you were looking for them. Certainly could miss them. But anyway, yes, yeah, there we go. So they're like the regular Skittles, but obviously giant. Um, yeah, there we go. Share the rainbow, taste the rainbow, it says. So no two rainbows are the same, and neither are two packs of Skittles. Enjoy an odd mix. So basically, so it's a pain really, but basically, you know, you could get... Um, a lot of one flavour, not much of another, and that tends to happen, doesn't it? So we'll see what it's like in this one. But I'm very excited for these ones. Yeah, very excited. What's, uh, what's going on at the bottom here, actually? So it's some kind of plinth. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, is it a conveyor belt of some kind? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but they've got some kind of weird stuff going on at the bottom. But uh, yeah, there we go. But uh, there we are. anyway, whatever that's about, let me know if you uh, know what it is. So we've got uh, some camera information. Portions per pack three. Portion size, 41.6 grams. So pro grams, 392 calories, so low, lower than uh, chocolate bars tend to be, which tend to be between 500 to 550 calories. But I guess a lot more sugar in these, possibly, anyway. 3.6 grams of fat, 2 which are saturates, I have no idea, I'm just uh, assuming. <laughs> then per portion, 41.6 grams, third of a bag, 163 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 0.8 of which are saturates. We've got the uh, typical flavours, strawberry, lime, lemon, blackcurrant, orange. Right, someone was saying that the, uh, well, there's been a few theories, hasn't it? Some people say that Skittles, they all taste the same. It's just the fact that, you know, you imagine that they're going to taste different. But someone was saying, actually, that the difference is in the colouring. And uh, I think that does make sense, actually, if that's going to be the case. So thank you very much. Yeah, apologies, I can't recall. Uh, you mentioned that. Leave a comment if it was you. I can believe it. I can believe it. Because basically, that is the, you know, to, if you wanted to save money and make it easy, obviously, if the flavour was in the colour, the colour is obviously going to be unique or different for every... You know, apparent flavour, isn't it? So if you added the flavour to the colouring, it would make sense and you wouldn't have to change the middle. So that does make sense, I can believe that. But I mean, lemon and lime are quite similar flavours. Orange, well, these are quite distinct, but I feel like they could be better flavours, couldn't they? I'm sure they used to be that. Like, did the lime one used to be apple or something? I feel like that would be more interesting, wouldn't it? But uh, yeah. Okay, same crunchy shell, new tasty sensor, Skittles Giants Gooey. UK only, don't recycle. Vegan as well, it says vegan. There you go. Yeah, very excited for these ones. Very excited indeed. Is there any information on the bottom? Some, oh, look at that. What does it say? Somewhere over the rainbow at the top of the beanstalk, it says. There, I don't know. Easter egg there, maybe. All right, well, you can see, obviously, at the top here, above this perforated line, there's never going to be anything in it. So I think, uh, yeah, so there we go. So obviously, it is a bit smaller than you'd expect. And there's crimps at the sides as well. Never going to contain anything in at the bottom. It's kind of a false bottom, sort of. Um, but yeah, all right, well, let's move stuff down. Give them a open so the distribution is like. So they'll like, so let's do just that. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, okay, we're going to give these uh, new Skittles Fruits Giants gooey. <laughs> or, I don't know, Fruits Skittles Giants gooey, however you want to say it. But anyway, let's give these an open. Yeah, look, uh, so I don't know what this is about at the bottom. It looks like it's a, some kind of conveyor belt, but I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, let's give them a moment open. The time we've got to do about 1,100, if not 1,200 reviews. So if you like this uh, review, please click uh, the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so many. And so I'm going to link to place all my reviews, what's some related ones, other Skittles ones, things like this. I think we're a Skittles chocolate bar. By the way, yeah, uh, might make a, might put these into a chocolate bar. Actually, it might be quite interesting. So uh, go check out that review as well. Yeah, it's quite an interesting one for sure. Hope you like those reviews as well. So fingers crossed. Mm, quite nice, quite nice smoking from a sort of. Should be quite a lot in here actually, which is quite nice. This seems to be more yellow ones than anything else at first glance, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's a reasonable distribution in this one. Let's find out. So I've got uh, nine yellows, I think, ten yellows. Yeah, that's not bad. And then, uh, okay, how many purples have we got? Well, I guess lemons rather than yellows. Well, they are yellow, but you have to be nine black currants, I think. Is it black currant? Yes, it is. Nine of those. So we've got uh, eight lime ones. Not terrible distribution. Well, I said that. Strawberry ones, we've only got five. Mm. And then we've got uh, eight. All right, so yeah, so it's, it's basically ten, nine, Eight, eight, five. So we definitely suffered the strawberry ones here, which is a bit of a shame. But so I'll say they are Skittles giants, so they are a bit bigger than uh, regular Skittles. Um, but they are a bit, uh, you know, not a standard uh, shape. Got the older calipers here to give us a bit of a measure. You can see the S 
going on there. Let's see, roughly down to 1.8 from height 1.3. Let's say the down to is a bit, a bit nobly 1.9 there. 1.8 again. No, you're right, you get the idea. You look quite standard though. But um, yeah, there we are. So uh, obviously, do have an S on them generally. Hard to see in some cases. It does have an S on it. The yellow ones, uh, I don't see the S on that one at all actually. There probably is one somewhere, just very faint. Yeah, I guess there is an S on there somewhere on this yellow one, but again, faint. It would be nice if they made it darker colour so you could see it, but uh, I don't think it matters particularly. Alright, let's give one a chop then, shall we? We've got the most of the yellow ones, let's give a yellow one a chop. See what the inside's like. Chop. And there you go, yeah. So you can see it got like a bit of a gooey sensor there. It's uh, quite small, but nonetheless, it is there. And there we go. Hmm. Hmm. A bit of a lemony smell. So I guess in these ones, we were saying about the uh, it's going to be the colouring that's obviously flavoured, but in this case, obviously, the injected uh, uh, flavour is going to be the uh, well, it's well, the injection has got to have a different, unique flavour, hasn't it? It can't be, <laughs> you know, can't just be down to the colouring in this case. So let's have a look at the black current one. Is it a black current colour sensor? No, look at that. It's yellow again. Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Doesn't make me wonder. Is the sensor, you know, actually different, uh, a different flavour? Is it just, is it just gooey? Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Well, that's definitely. I mean, you know, maybe maybe the centre is all the same. The gooiness in the centre. What's the uh, description on the back? What does it say? Chewy candies in a crisp sugar shell with a sugar-based filling. All right. Well, I wonder if the filling is just literally just a gooey one. And it's just the same for every single one. I mean, look at that. The, if the black hole one's got a yellow centre, um, yeah. Let's just try one more, shall we? No point doing them on all of them, but. Um, Try the green one. I mean, it's got to be yellow, isn't it? You know. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, it's the same on all of them. So maybe that's a theory about this, you know, the basically the colouring on the outside being the flavour is, is still true. Find out in a minute. I'm gonna I'll taste the flavour in the sensor in a second then, I guess. I'll just do one more. I'll do one of the red ones. There's no point. I mean it's gotta be yellow, isn't it? You know, clearly it just just the fact that the red one you would expect to be red, but yeah, there you go. Hmm, that's a surprise. I am surprised by that, and a bit shocked actually. It should be red, it should be the colour of, you know, it should be the same for every single one, but it looks like it is. Looks like it is. I imagine the flavour's going to be, you know, it's not going to be the strawberry flavour uh, filling, it's gooey filling, that's for sure. But let's find out, serve myself up, give them a taste. Hello, and hello. Right, we're going to give these, uh, yes, these new uh, fruit skittles, giant gooey, or giant gooey, a, a taste. Thanks very much for Scotty to put me on for these ones. Uh, yeah, I mentioned he was in the Rinaldi, basically. So thank you so so much. Um, yeah, well, basically we chopped a couple in half. We had a bit of a relatively good distribution over the strawberry ones, but we did find that the uh, there's a gooey center seems to be the same for all of them. So I opened the in a, you know a yellow one first, one of the lemon ones. You can see you know yellow gooey center. You think okay, fair enough. But then I opened. Uh, one of the black current ones, and it's got the same yellow gooey centre. Um, if I check some of the others, and the green one, lime one, same again. So I reckon that the centre is exactly the same for all of them. Someone had a theory left in the comments, um, basically mentioning that the only difference is is that you know is, is actually the outer shell, uh, is actually the outer part. The colouring has the flavour in. Um, some people say there's no flavour difference at all. It's just your imagination. But I feel like I can believe that the flavour would be in the colouring because of course the colour's got to be. You know, different anyway because it's a unique colour. So why not put the flavour in the colouring? But yeah, so we're interested on this one. So let's uh, see if we can actually taste the sensor. I'm gonna just give this black cut one a sense a bit of a taste first of all. Can hmm um, yeah hmm yeah it doesn't it's just it's just a tart flavour hmm not very pleasant actually. Hmm, all right, well, okay, well, we'll give them all, I don't know, do we even give them all individual rating? I'm not sure. Now, let's start with the yellow one anyway. Let's do a yellow one first. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. 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 
I feel that sort of nice uh, chew to it, lemony flavour, quite, you know, mm, makes your eyes uh, twitch a bit. Mm. I mean, not bad. The sensor in this one seems to work quite well with it. I mean, I didn't really get much of a gooey sensor. I mean, I guess it was there, but, you know, kind of, um, I didn't really notice it, basically. Hmm. I guess it was there, made it a bit softer, maybe, but, hmm, I don't know. Mm. Quite nice, quite a lemony flavour that one. Do I give them these individual ratings? I don't know if it's worth it really. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's probably quite an average three, three and a half. That one's okay. Three and a half out of five, it's not bad. It's a typical flavour that one. Right, let's give the uh, lime one a go. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, can taste when you first bite into them, you do get a bit of a soft sense, but it goes very quickly after that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really get much of a gooey sense. You just get the fact that it's a softer on the inside. It makes the initial bite a bit, uh, a bit easier. Hmm. That's about it, really. You know. Hmm. Lemon one's a bit more underwhelming. It's not as quite as tangy as the lemon one. Um. Hmm. Not bad. Quite average though. I think that's a three out of five. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let's try the orange one then. Hmm. I'm really not getting much from the gooey sense of the I mean, just it allows you to, you know, the initial bite to be a bit more. Um, I think the giant skittles are quite softer anyway to make them a bit easier to eat because the, the small skittles are quite compact and chewy, aren't they? Really, you know, quite difficult to chew. Hmm. But yeah, I'm not really, it's not really adding much at all, this gooey sensor. You know, when I taste it individually, it was quite tangy, but the rest of this kettle is quite tangy, and you know, anyway. Hmm. So, yeah, the orange one, it's a bit like the lime one, a bit underwhelming. Three out of five, I guess. They're not terrible skittles by any means, but individually, when you just, you know, not that, um, not blow me away that much. Let's try the old uh, strawberry one then. Hmm. Hmm. In this one, the gooey was a bit more standout. I think just because the way I ate it this time. Hmm. I don't know why particularly, but it seems to be, um, yeah, seems to be there. But I don't know, I think it's just the fact that you can be tricked into thinking that it is adding more flavour to the gooey centre, but it isn't really. Hmm. It's just the fact that the rest of it, you know, the outer shell potentially. Has that strawberry flavour anyway, and it just mixes together. So you think, oh yeah, I'm getting extra strawberry flavour, but you're not really. It's a trick. Hmm. That's all I like the strawberry one. It's nice. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Still got a subtle flavour. It's nice in its own right, but I think it's not quite distinctly enough. But it's quite a subtle one. But I like it. Three and a half, four. Maybe almost a four, but not quite. I think a three and a half out of five. That one. Nice. Let's try the black one. Well, what I would imagine would be my favourite, but we'll see. Mm. Yeah, first couple of them, the goo has popped out a bit, but it doesn't really taste that strong when you have it in your mouth. It did when I got it individually before and tasted it on my tongue. Hmm. Hmm. Quite like the uh, blackcurrant one. It's nice. Hmm. Bit like a strawberry one though. A bit, you know, a bit subtle. Tangy flavour doesn't work quite as well with this one though. The, the extra tangy from Skittles doesn't quite work with the flavour very well. Hmm. So another three and a half out of five, nearly a four maybe, but it's not bad that one, not bad. And overall though, the gooey sensor doesn't really add much at all to be honest with you. It's certainly, it'd be nice if it was extra flavour. Although, I don't, think the, I don't think they need an extra boost of flavour to be honest with you. You get quite a distinct flavour anyway, I think you get enough flavour anyway from them. Um, it just makes them a bit easier to eat. I guess you do, on occasion, depending on how you bite into it. Get a sort of burst of gooeyness in your mouth, you know. Um, but I don't know, it's a bit underwhelming. It's not that special. I'm glad it's there. I think it's better than it not have been there. Hmm. So there is that. But I feel like it's not. It's not quite as good as you'd expect it to be. It doesn't really add as much as you'd expect it to. And I don't like the fact that it's all the same in every single one. You know, they're all the same. And I think it's like, as I say, that person in the comments did say. Um, 
you know that the flavor is basically all in the uh, yeah all in the coloring and then the fact that they've just done the same one the same gooey feeling for all of them it's a bit uh yeah, a bit disappointing that really, a bit disappointing. Yeah, I've just had a look, it was Alexandros actually who mentioned about the flavouring. So thank you Alexandros, yes, hopefully you're watching this. Uh, thank you so much, yeah, about the flavour just being on the uh, on the outside. And I think he's probably right to be honest with you. So yeah, and this is definitely uh, evidence of the fact that they've not uh, changed the inside flavouring of the gooey sensor for any of them. So yeah, an interesting one this one really. Um, but yeah. So I don't know what to make. They're quite nice overall, they're quite nice. I'll just have a couple at once. Just to uh, just to see, you know, just to give a couple of go at once. We'll see. Hmm. Hmm. Just probably how you'd eat them normally. Hmm. You know, the gooiness here, non-existent. You know. Hmm. So, I don't know. Very strange products. I'm getting quite a tongue from it though. I think the, the gooey just adds a. Hmm. A bit of an unnecessary extra tang really. It doesn't complement the flavour very well, I don't think. Hmm. It doesn't need it. It needs like the extra flavour. If anything, from the uh, the fruit itself. But as I said before, they're quite distinct flavours anyway, so hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right, chewy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I feel like it's not detracting from anything. Particularly, although as I say, it's quite a tangy flavour. Yeah, might sort of slightly, you know, it just adds an extra tang, which I don't think it needs, but I don't think it detracts from anything necessarily. But it doesn't add that much either. I don't know. They're just basically giant skittles. They've got a bit of a gimmick going on. It's certainly not an unwelcome one, but it doesn't really add that much by the same token. So, yeah, I don't know. A funny one, really. A funny one, I think. Yeah, I don't know what to rate them really. You know, regular Skittles are probably three and a half out of five, maybe a four. You know, obviously if you love Skittles, you'll love them. It's the way it goes, isn't it? But I think for me, these ones are quite, they're quite nice all the same. I mean, they're certainly, they're a low four, high three and a half. Yeah, I think, I think the, the, the gooey gimmicks just could be a lot more interesting, a lot better than it is really. And I don't think it's that impactful. And I don't, and I think the flavour it adds, it doesn't really add any flavour, and I don't know if it needs any extra flavour, but certainly wouldn't be a problem if it added more strawberry flavour or more lemon flavour or more lime flavour. Um, and I think that's what I'd expect really, and I certainly would expect it to match the colour of the uh, Skittle it's uh, representing as well. So, I think for me, yeah, a bit, a bit of a lazy one this one, three and a half out of five basically, it doesn't really add too much, but certainly doesn't take away, but you know, I think that's, that's it really, is there any point to it? Hmm. Alright guys, let me know you think of these ones, leave a comment for free, always great to hear from you, always do most to reply. Check out my other Skittles reviews as well, I think the link will be, the link should be on the screen somewhere here. And have a great day, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. See ya.